Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. This week's video is dedicated to Yisrael Amichai Ben Sara as a merit for Rafua Shalema, Get Well Soon. And also it is dedicated to Rabbi Shlomi and Rifki as a Mazatav upon the birth of a grandson to Estrachana and her husband Nachi. May you all go from one joyous occasion to the next, all in good health. In this week's parasha, we have the double parasha again, Achrimos and Kedoshim. And the beginning of Achrimos tells us about the Yom Kippur service. I want to share with you a beautiful idea I heard from my Rebbe, Rebbe Nissen Kaplan, who said it over in the name of Samson Rafal Hirsch. Um, and he says like this, he was talking about the process for the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, gaining atonement for the Jewish people on the great and holy day of Yom Kippur. So he would bring two he goats to Seirim, and one would be for Hashem, and one would be for Azazel, which literally means a strong god, which is represented in the mountain that eventually he's going to be tossed off of. And the ending of both of them, both of these goats, will end up as being an atonement for the Jewish people. Now, if we try to go back to the time that both goats are brought in front of the so, uh, in front of the, in front, excuse me, in front of the Mizbeach, in front of the altar. So they're both standing in the sanctuary. Now, they're not thinking anything because animals don't think, but we can imagine that they were thinking. One goat gets designated to go up on top of the altar and get burned over there. The other goat is looking over and he says, wow, lucky me, look at my lucky break. I get to go off on a nice trip over here out to the desert. And ultimately what happens to him, though, unbeknownst to him, is as he's being paraded through the desert and he's going up and down the beautiful mountains and he thinks that he's in the Alps and enjoying beautiful views, eventually he gets dumped over and he gets killed and he gets broken off into pieces. And the lesson that we should learn is twofold. One from the view of the religious people and one from the view of the non-religious people. The religious person might think, Look at me. I have to go to the synagogue. I have to go to the shul constantly. I gotta go study. Look at look at the non-religious guy. He gets to go out to the desert. He gets to go on field trips. He gets to go up to the Alps. He gets to go here and he gets to go there. But ultimately, the Torah is teaching us that somebody that is not grounded to the shul eventually can have a bad demise. Doesn't mean that their end is always bad, but he's he got to be connected to Hashem. And if he's not connected to Hashem, he can fall down a spiritual mountain that can, God forbid, make that his entire life is wasteless, was was useless, and he wasted it. And but a lot of religious people are bothered by what the other people are doing. Now let's view it from the from the view of the non-religious person. The non-religious person goes, "Look at me! I get to go on vacations wherever I want. I'm not attached. No strings attached for me when it comes to God. I can do whatever I want and go whatever I want." But look at the religious people. They have to go to the synagogue and they have to constantly study and they're tied down to having to serve Hashem. But me, I'm free. And what happens if somebody's free? He's free falling. And that's exactly what happens. And he falls free. Now, we have to realize that the message is quite clear over here. Lazazel is actually a term that is used to mean to go someplace, H-E-L-L. -L. But what it certainly means is, is that it means that you're going down the mountain. And we have to realize that our success in life will be the more we can attach ourselves to Hashem, the more strings we have to Him, the stronger our rope will become. The more and more strings you wind around the rope, the stronger that rope becomes. And when we let ourselves just be cut off entirely, no strings attached, then eventually if you have no strings attached, you're eventually going to suffer that same demise as the goat that had no strings attached when it fell off the mountain. And so therefore, Hashem wants us to come closer to Him. Hashem wants us to make that connection. We shouldn't feel that we're tied down to serving Hashem, but rather we should feel that we are connected to Hashem by those strings that are tying us to Him. Have a great Shabbos. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week.